Today let's see the top mistakes made by the average players when attacking, then the possible ways how we can eliminate them so without any delay let's begin. If you don't trigger your players to move forward, your players will just be standing in their original position and not making any progress, you will realize that you're building up too slow because you're making it for the opponent's players to maintain their team shape. This mistake is common in average players, but it's something easy to fix. You just need to get familiar with the pass and move style, so when you pass, sometimes try holding both the L1 plus X to trigger your player to make a forward run. It has two big advantages 1. When player starts running forward after being triggered, if there's any opponent's AI defender nearby, he automatically starts tracking him, which drags him out of his position and creates space for you to utilize. Another advantage is that when you send players, you attack in numbers and this creates more passing options, it increases the build up speed which makes it easy to break up the opponent's team shape, but remember to be careful on the player you're sending forward, I don't recommend you sending center backs. One of the common mistakes average players make is forgetting to use the wings, they tend to force their way through the middle, sometimes it works for them but when you play intelligent players who can read your playstyle, you become too predictable, and when you face players who are good at keeping their team shape, you will find hard time when breaking them. So try to mix up your playstyle, driving through the wing it stretches the opponent's defense, and it becomes hard for him to maintain his team shape, drive to the wing to stretch his defense, then work your way back to the middle as this technique is used by a lot of FIFA pros in their game style. And the big key is awareness, you have to notice where is the space and drive into it, so the opponent to press your player has to follow up with especially with one player, this creates big gaps between his players, giving opportunity to your AI teammates to make deadly runs, try implementing this technique into your game. It's not bad to try your luck and shoot in some scenarios, but doing it just to increase the number of attempts is something too average, I would rather take a shot with at least 70% of chance to go into the back of the net, than just shooting in the situation where you don't even have a chance to beat the goalkeeper. So try to eliminate this bad behavior of just shooting whenever you see the opportunity, and try to train how to be composed especially inside the box to increase the chance to score, you take a shot when you realize that at least there's no defender to block it, and you're in a good angle for your player to take a good shot. One of the most annoying moments is to lose the ball immediately after you have just regained it, in many cases you concede, but all this comes from panicking or not being composed enough. But the mistake most players make is to rush and immediately take the pass they notice, when you see that pass, then your opponent is also seeing it and he marks it, so you give away possession cheaply like that. So to prevent that from happening, First of all you have to wait at least 2 to 3 seconds while dribbling according to the situation, then you scan and see the safe pass where you might not be pressured aggressively, and this needs composure first in your mindset. In many situations you miss your chances because you only focus where the ball is, you don't even realize the dangerous runs your teammates are making, you should start scanning the pitch and you will notice the through pass opportunities. To fix this issue you have to record your game play first, and you have time to review the game, then you will notice the chances you missed and then in the next game, try moving your eyes around the pitch, this habit it's hard at first but when you try it couple of games, it will become your second nature. Some players when receiving the ball, the number one mistake is not realizing what the opponent is doing with his defender, and they find themselves turning into pressure and lose possession easily. These are the simple mistakes you shouldn't be making, losing possession like this is something average, 
you have to read the defender movement and notice where the pressure is coming from, then turn away while protecting the ball, eliminating this mistake will improve your build-up consistency. So that's it for today, try eliminating bad behaviors from your gameplay, then train the basic fundamentals into your game, so for now I sign out.